Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Dave Jacobson. This is a product demo for QMaster, my render automation script for After Effects. QMaster is designed to drastically cut down the amount of time it takes to set up renders. So normally in After Effects, you grab all the comps you want to render, and you pull them into your render queue. You would then go through and need to adjust all your settings. This could be the templates, it could be the file path and file name. It also might be output modules, which just multiplies the work. QMaster offers a better way to do this by allowing you to associate render settings with your label colors. I'm talking about these little guys right here. So what we're going to be doing is, for example, we've got cyan, and I want to send out client approvals. So I'm going to attach all my client approval settings to this label color. I've actually already gone ahead and set up all my label colors in QMaster. If you're wanting to learn how to set up QMaster, check out the Getting Started video. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out my render queue now, and I'm going to grab all these comps again, and I'm going to hit the approval button. And just know that this is no different than actually just going right here and clicking on Cyan. The advantage in using the QMaster interface is that you can apply little abbreviations to all these buttons, and then you can also see the color. So it makes it really fast and easy to apply these. Let's go ahead and drag all these comps into my render queue now. All I need to do now is hit the prep queue button. QMaster just went through and it assigned all the settings. For this label, I also specified that I wanted versioning. So it's making V1s of all these since I haven't rendered anything yet. And then also down here, it created an approvals folder. This is also something that I specified. Okay, great, so let's hit render. You can see all my renders going in the folder now. Okay, great, now let's do some more rendering. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out my render queue. And let's say that I wanna send these four comps right here to my sound mixer. So I'm gonna mark them as picture reference. And then I've made some changes to these three comps, so I actually need to send those back out for client approval again. So I'm gonna highlight everything and drop it in my render queue once again. I'm gonna hit prep queue, and QMaster has just done its magic. So you might notice that I have V2s now for these, since I've already rendered them one time. And then down here, these are all V1s, and I've got my picture reference folder that I specified. Let's hit render one more time. And so I can see my V2s starting to pop up in here. And there are my V1s. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and clear up my render queue again. I'm gonna collapse these folders. And at this point, I'm ready to render my finals. So I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna mark them green for final. I'm gonna pull them in my render queue. And I'm gonna hit prep queue. Perfect. Now we render. And for my final files, I like those to just go directly in my renders folder. I don't need them to go into a subfolder. Okay, now my client has come back and they've made a pretty crazy request. They want me to render out about five different formats for each one of these. So I'm gonna clear my render queue once again. I'm gonna highlight all these comps, and I've made a label called multi. So I mark these as multi. I'm gonna drag these in my render queue, and now I'm gonna hit prep queue. QMaster is saving me a lot of time right now. It's setting up five output modules with all these different formats that I specified. On top of that, it created folders for each one of these formats to keep them separated so that I don't make a complete mess when I render these files. For my image sequences, it also created subfolders. I don't wanna have a single folder containing hundreds of frames for different image sequences. Let's hit render. Okay, great, everything's done. Let's move on to our next project. All right, for this next project, I'm doing some episodic work. So you'll notice that I've got all my comps in subfolders. I have my comps folder, and then the episode number, and then the type of graphic. So I've got lower thirds, sponsors, and title cards. What I want QMaster to do is replicate this hierarchy into my finder when it renders. So I'm gonna highlight everything in here and I've made a special episodic label for this. I'm gonna drag all this into my render queue. And as soon as I hit prep queue, QMaster is gonna go through and start making the subfolders in here. It's perfect. I also wanna point out that I never told QMaster to save into this project two folder. What it's actually doing is using relative file paths to determine where these renders are going. That means that it's gonna look at where the AEP lives and it's gonna create the folders corresponding to that. So that means that QMaster is basically following me around wherever I go. I never have to tell it where to save these files. Let's go ahead and hit render. Okay, great. Renders are all done. If I check these folders, I can see all my files have landed in there. That's perfect. Okay, let's move on to the last project. For this project, we're going to be taking advantage of a feature in QMaster called file path variables. I told QMaster that I want to create a folder with today's date on it, and then inside of that, I want to create a folder for all the various resolutions of my comps. When I thumb through, I can see I've got various resolutions. So what I'm going to do is highlight all these comps, and I've made a label called date res. I apply the date res label, and then I just pull them in my render queue. I hit prep queue, 
And now I've got a folder with today's date on it. And inside of that, it created folders for all the different resolutions. Now I'm going to hit render. I can look in all these folders and see where my comps have landed. Perfect. That's pretty much it. Whether you're rendering hundreds of files or just jumping around from project to project, Keymaster has something to offer for everybody. It can be as simple or as advanced as you want. Please don't hesitate to open up a help ticket if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching.